The president says she has become the nickname for all that Galamse represents. A respected security expert, Professor Kwisiening, accuses her of being a mole sent to destroy the Ghanaian cocoa sector. The name Aisha Wang is dominating Ghanaian news circles, as she did many years ago when her arrest and what we were told was deportation became a political hot potato. The main company that is helping all of the infrastructure system in Ghana is Sano Idea. It's a Chinese company. It's the one that's going to help the process of our website and provide about $2 billion to us. I wonder these kind of arrangements. There are other things behind the scenes. Putting that lady in jail in Ghana is not going to solve the problem. Now, President Ikufuado is not even sure if she was deported at all. On a tour of the Volta region, the president told Stone City FM he is not even sure the Chinese was deported in the first place. When you have a situation like this woman who was, I'm not still sure whether she was in fact deported or whether she fled the country the first time mm -hmm. and has now come back. But whatever, um, there still seems to be some uh, uh, uncertainty about it. But whichever way it is, she has become the sort of nickname mm -hmm. for all that the galaxy represents. And unfortunately, also for the involvement of Chinese nationals in Ghana mm -hmm. in this particular illicit trade. The backlash has been swift. But Information Minister Kujo Poe Nkrumah claims effectively that the president has been misquoted and claimed the reason for the president's comment is that there is a difference between deportation and repatriation. Deportation or not, President Ikufuado believes there is enough on the part of the judiciary to make Galamse heavily unattractive. Until recently, till I came, the punishment for people caught was relatively light, a fine, and even if we're going to go to custodial sentences, was relatively minimal. We've changed the law to stiffen the punishments for okay. people caught for foreigners. I think it's now 20, 15, to, 15 to 25 years, depending on the severity of what it is. So we're also now going to test our judicial system to what extent it is going to be responsive, especially when somebody like her goes on to trial. Strangely, in a country where the police service is quick to release images and statements on suspect and the upper snail leak images of even internal memos, the 36-year-old Wang has remained a mystery with her last recorded image making the rounds in the media dating back to four years in 2018. There is a scent that the return of Wang to Ghana speaks of a blatant disregard for the laws of the country and highlights Ghana's general struggles to contain the menace of Galamse. With Wang and her compatriot due to appear in court tomorrow, there will be many Ghanaians hoping that the court will seize the opportunity to send the clearest message that the country is serious about the fight against Galamse. Noble Crosby Annan, TV3 News, Accra.